That's a wrap. Five. Five of that one. That was good this time of year. For me, nothing better than after a long day of work, getting out for a run. I know some people go home for a rum and coke or whatever it is that they like. For me, no, that's not the case. Getting out for, for a workout, planning ahead, prepping all my gear the night before, having it ready. So I'm just going basically right from work. And today I'm up on No Seal Drive, which is only about a four minute drive from my work, which is a great place to do a run after work. And here's a tip. I had a snack later this afternoon, a hard boiled egg and an apple. Perfect combination of carbohydrate, fat and protein. So you don't get that sugar spike with just carbohydrate, some fat and protein in there. Should be good for a little while. What's on the menu today, dog walker? Well, today, do a bit of a warm up here. Try to go on the flats. Back that way. A little warm up and then I'm gonna do heel repeats up on Nose Hill there. This is the most Southern end of Nose Hill Park. Considering we had snow on the ground this morning, snowed last night, minus five or so this morning, it's plus 10. Hey, I consider that. It's a fantastic day to get out for a run. Not a great place to do a warm up. It's just nothing but rolling hills. So just take it easy. He's okay. Hi, bud. Hi, pup. Hi there. How are you? You smell my pup? You smell my pup? No, no worries. He, he, he's, he smells our dog. Right? You smell our dog there, bud? Yeah? Yeah. No worries. Okay, what's on the menu today? Now, just to let you know, I'm actually training for an ultra marathon right now. Start the process, it's in August. It's called the Iron Legs 100K. A few years ago, I did the 50 mile version of it. I was going to do the 100K. But on that day, and no word of a lie, we had air quality index of 11. And it goes from a scale of one to 10, apparently. It was terrible. I felt it from the first kilometer. Managed to squeeze in the 87K version of it. It is, pardon my language, it is a bitch of a race. It takes place Brad Creek on the 50 mile version or 87K, whatever it is, 86, 4,200 meters of elevation gain. And on the 100K version, it only adds another 200 meters. So we're looking at 4,400 meters. It's just over 14,000 feet of elevation gain. It is hard. It's harder than any Ironman I've ever done in my life. And I've done a lot. So on today's journey, <clears throat> time on the feet, warm up, hill, do some repeats as an ambulance goes by. Walking the uphills, because on that run, unless you're a professional, you're not running the uphills. It's a complete waste of time to do that. You put yourself way over into oxygen debt. And on a run that long, you don't recover from that. So walk the uphills and then do my best to bomb the downhills and put that eccentric load on my legs. Because the downhills are what eventually 
trash your legs. Of course the distance and whatnot, but it's the downhills that really kill your legs. So that's what's in store today. Pretty damn good view. And I can hear a bunch of coyotes over there. Pretty damn nice up here. See downtown Calgary. And someday all this will be yours. What, the curtains? No, not the curtains. Sorry everyone, I'm a big Monty Python fan. Whew, three down, I'll put two more in. It's a good workout day today. As I said earlier, there could be worse places. I could be right now, stuck inside some office at work or sitting at home. That's a wrap. Five. Five of that one. That was good this time of year. That eccentric load running downhill really fast. I can feel that on my legs today. They're a little bit rubbery, but that's okay. So we put some strain on the muscular system without taxing the aerobic system too much. That's the goal of this workout today, and it worked out well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for following along and all your support. Really appreciate it. Have a great day and get outside. Holy mackerel, even though that was only an hour run, just under an hour, close to 350 meters of elevation gain, I have wobbly legs after that one. Whew, that was good.